there were two other groups that I, I remember joining at that time. One was ZAMI, mm -hmm. which was the group for Blacks and West Indians. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, being from Trinidad, it was, it was wonderful to find a place that was culturally respectful mm -hmm. and also very, uh, um, very uh, uh, lesbian, gay affirming mm -hmm. space, right? And so it was a small group at that time, and you know we'd have some discussions, and then we'd go for ice cream. That was kind of the the, the essence of that group. Um, that group turned out to be um, wonderful. It was also very African Caribbean, mm -hmm. and that was great um, in terms of the cultural aspects. But I found um, my South Asian heritage was also important for me to. Um, Find a, find a lesbian gay affirming space for that. And there was a group called Kush, mm -hmm. which uh, also, and everyone met at the 519 in these days. We need to understand that it was the hub of activity. There were, there were no other places. Um, so the uh, uh, Kush met there on Wednesdays, lesbian and gay youth was on Thursdays, and Zami was on Fridays, I think. So it was like my week was full of, of um, going from group to group, and uh, and then and then AIDS hit, huh. and it was like, oh my goodness, we have to do something here, and there wasn't much to do. Like you no, know, people were scrambling. Like mm -hmm. you know, we had no messages. We didn't know about uh, anything called safer sex or anything like that at the time. It was just. People were dying, and it seemed like governments and healthcare systems were not responding appropriately. Mm -hmm. And as a result, um, as a result, uh, we needed to do something for ourselves. That's what we realized. 